In our Green Meadow series, Capital 10X identified vanadium as a key resource in reducing the carbon footprint of steel manufacturers and other vanadium-related industries. The United Nations estimates that worldwide energy consumption of buildings accounts for 30 to 40 percent of global energy production. According to the International Energy Agency, demand for steel will double by 2050. The world now requires a sharp reduction in the emission of carbon per unit of steel, two tons of CO2 are generated per ton of steel produced, or an alternative method of construction that reduces steel consumption. A groundbreaking study by Texas A&M University has actually crunched the numbers when it comes to the energy savings when vanadium is added to steel reinforcement bars. So what are the results? So we now have clear indicators that relate the yield strength of steel to the concentration of vanadium therein. The increased strength of vanadium alloyed steel translates to a substantial energy savings as compared to the lower grade rebar. For example, there is an impressive 40% reduction in the carbon footprint of a reinforced concrete beam. The higher the vanadium concentration, the more energy savings. In an industrial landscape where CO2 is an inevitable byproduct, this makes a world of difference. For a typical building made with reinforced concrete, made with vanadium alloy, energy savings can reach up to 26%, while carbon savings equal 18.8%. So Texas A&M University estimates that there's a substantial savings from the use of vanadium in steel, which is equivalent to the CO2 emissions that come from a small country like the Philippines or equivalent to planting 260 million trees within a year. So we can clearly see that vanadium is a very important part of an energy resource efficient future.